Dear colleagues, you commenced the second open consultations and multi-stakeholder advisory group meeting. I would like to thank you all for your dedication and commitment to the Internet Governance Forum. We are now more than halfway into the preparations for the 17th IGF meeting in Addis Ababa, and I believe we are on a very good track. The MAG has done an excellent job so far, coordinating program preparations, defining the themes for the meeting, and chartering intersessional work for the year. The IGF community has been busy submitting various session proposals and getting involved in the work of the best practice forums, policy networks, and the dynamic coalitions. Together with the national, regional, and youth IGF initiatives, this collective endeavor shows the dynamic nature of IGF ecosystem. This is a dynamism I trust will be maintained in the years to come. As we continue to work together on strengthening the forum, as you work over the next three days to shape the substance and the format of the IGF 2022, I encourage you to build on the forum's successes and the good practices today. At the same time, we need to continue assuring that IGF activities are strongly anchored into the realities of our world and reflect real needs and concerns of individuals around the globe. With IGF coming back to the African region for the first time in a decade, I further invite you to consider what the forum can do for Africa and how it can help provide momentum for inclusive and sustainable digital transformation in Africa. What are today's most pressing digital policy issues globally and locally in the region? And how can multi-stakeholder dialogue and cooperation, two elements at the core of IGF, help to resolve them? I would also like to encourage you to think about how to improve the forum's outreach and impact. Building on advice that emerged from the IGF expert group meetings held at the end of March. Take stock of what has kept the IGF community engaged year after year, and how can we further build on this robust community to bring new voices on board. Also, consider what digital future we want for ourselves and the further generations to come. How can the forum work to meaningfully contribute to building this future for the greater group? These are not easy questions to answer, but I have confidence in your rich expertise and experiences, and equally, your collaborative, inclusive efforts. We can make important steps towards ensuring that the IGF adapts to emerging digital space and continues to grow well into the future. In the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, we remain committed to work together with you and our host country, the government of Ethiopia, as well as the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and the IGF that the both anchored in the present and looking to the future of a global internet for all. I thank you.